from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello and welcome to Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith. Tonight marks our final show for 2015, and what an emotional and historical year it has been. We thought we'd open the show by taking a look back at some of the highlights of the past 12 months, and Chuck will wrap things up with a special holiday edition of the Entertainment Outlook. Now, we've got a lot to squeeze in the next 30 minutes, so let's get started. Please welcome my co-hosts Chuck and Pam, and Out and About Nashville editor James Grady. Are welcome, you, guys. Is there an elephant in the room or what? <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm wearing one of these? And by the way, do these stripes make my butt look big? <laughs> and, no. and what's wrong with those two? Well, it was hard to read that with a straight face. With y'all chuckling over here it while I'm hard for us to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, this, this literally this half is ugly sweater half. Yeah, right? yeah, that's us. Okay, we're participators. <laughs> no, I see. We are. This is just festive half. <laughs> they did get here. the memo and they decided to be. Normal. At least we got them in the hats. That's yeah. awesome. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you cool. guys win though. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, isn't this great? I love it. I mean, I may wear this all the time. You should. This is really not a belt. It's actually on the sweater, but it looks convincing. And I got a candy cane here. I know. It looks like you're in a full costume. <laughs> well, let's get started. I'm sorry. We can talk about those outfits all day. No um, kidding. So now each year, I th uh, you guys read Out Magazine. We actually have a copy of it here. James brought with them. Um, they do their Out 100 Most Compelling Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender People in the World um, list every year. And I thought this might be a good way to sort of look, look back on 15 and, and talk about some, some big figures uh, or uh, public figures. So Chuck. Um, who were your picks from the top 100 this year? It was tough because there were so many great, great picks in there. Like um, 100. Th yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. There were 100 and they were all very hard to choose from. Um, my first, though, was, since I cover the entertainment a lot, um, was the Broadway musical Fun Home. It's a queer coming of age tale. It won five Tony Awards. It won Best Musical. Uh, to me, for that to be the big show on Broadway, and it had some incredible competition uh, this past Broadway season for the Tony Awards, uh, I thought that was really moving forward. And I know a lot of people that, that I know that have seen it have spoken extremely highly of it. They said they just mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, I guess I'm going to go next. Unless <laughs> oh, am I supposed to go to my next one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go yes, ahead and go okay. to your next one. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. So um, my other pick was Todd Haynes, the director. Uh, oh, yeah, Todd Haynes, this. he is one of my all-time favorite directors. He directed the movie uh, Far From Heaven. This year, uh, coming out, he has Carol. And that is the one with Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara. And it is getting a lot of Oscar buzz. And if you've ever seen one of, of one of his movies, or even the uh, miniseries Mildred Pierce on HBO, mm -hmm. he creates the most lush, lavish atmosphere for a movie. You feel to me like you're stepping into a different world. And I'm really, really excited about Carol, and I think that's going to do re really well. So good, good for him. Yeah, some good picks. I really enjoyed the, reading those. Thank you. Um, again, mine was tough, too, because, again, there's 100, 100 people to choose from here. But I had to go with Lily Tomlin <laughs> as one of mine. I've been a fan of her since I was, you know, could watch television. She's fantastic. I love mm -hmm. Frankie and Grace this year, um, 9 to 5. I mean, we could go on and on about everything that she's done. Um, she actually was classified not as an actor, but as a legend in the, in the, uh, in the rankings this time. And uh, I just noted here, it says since the 1970s when she met her wife. So she's basically been out since before most of us have been born. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not been an issue. So I, I just ha I had to go with most Lily. Most of us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was jab, jab, <laughs> My second one actually um, is a writer, Ryan O'Connell. And I thought he he was, he was an interesting one. Um, he just released his memoir not long ago uh, called I'm Special. There's his photo there, um, which he comically but pointedly documents his experience as a gay man living with cerebral palsy. Um, and he started exploring a TV series based on the book with Jim Parsons, our friend from uh, uh, The Big Bang Theory. And he says, I hope to challenge the ideas of uh, beauty in gay culture. Putting a gay disabled character on TV is my number one dream. So I, I kind of thought you know, his vision um, and his book were really interesting this year. Yeah, those are great picks. Cool. And what it's about good oh, so you no writing to Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stamp well, of approval. I thought everybody would pick Obama, so I didn't go there. Maybe that's James. <laughs> well, he's, on, he's on the cover. I know. <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to go with football, everybody. And I'm going to go with my main man, Mason Darrow, who came out. He was on the Princeton football team, offensive lineman. And, you know, you just don't see that. I think it was he was the only out football player in Division One. Is that right? NCAA. Yeah, yep. NCAA. Yep. And his quote here, uh, I love it, the gay community is often generalized as this one specific subgroup, where, whereas in reality, it's a very diverse community. And I wanted to show another side of that, and he certainly did. And we all remember, because we covered it here in mm -hmm. Hot Topics at some point, his team embraced him. The coach you know, was worried about when, when he came out to him, um, he, the coach 
was just worried that he might have an injury and couldn't play. When he came out, he was like, oh, okay, no big deal. Yeah, yeah. I believe it was yeah. Chuck. You had the, the clip of the interview that they right. played, which right. was so poignant. I mean, he pointed that out and said, yeah, he's just part of the team. No big deal. And hopefully it will continue not to be a big deal. Yes. That's yeah. right. Who's and so other? I'm going to go again. Okay. So I love sports. I'm a lesbian. I'm going with <laughs> Jess Glenn. You guys know I who she her. is. Oh I love God. her, too. Oh, yeah. You yes, do? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah there yeah, she we is. we got a picture right there. She's beautiful. Singer-songwriter in the span of just 18 months became the only the second British female solo artist to score five number one singles in the UK. And, and that song rugby is great. Yes. Yes, yes, it is. And so I picked a guy and a girl <laughs> and Obama. <laughs> and Obama. We all pick Obama. Yeah, and of course. Well, yeah, James. You know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the other side and I'm going to pick two WTF moments. Raven Simone. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and Miss Fame. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm thinking, did you just need two more? <laughs> were, were you at 98? And Raven, Raven Simone especially f uh, features so prominently against Jim Obergfell mm -hmm. that, you know, um, I don't know. I, I'm feeling like the list is... You're not into the list? I'm not into the list. Tell, wait, <laughs> I'm the Grinch who stole the game. <laughs> you know? Wait, tell us more about that. What's, what's your beef with Raven Simone anyway? You're not getting into the to what's all been in the mainstream media. Is that what... And you got 30 seconds to answer this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think that... I mean, everybody has the right to their opinions. Uh -huh. and, but, you know, you, you share them prominently and you reflect on a community and you... Especially when, you're, when you do a lot of confirming the worst fears that people have about us. I don't know. I feel yeah. like maybe you're not one of the 100 most... Yeah, well, and some Fair people enough. just don't like lists. <laughs> there you right. go. Because there's always somebody left off. And we're just, exactly. and speaking of that, we're just about out of time. I hate to cut you off. But when we come back, Pam will lead us in our 2015 top news story picks. So stay with us. <laughs>